Welcome to Solid Snake The Complete Story. So any subscribers to this channel, you know that we've covered most of Solid Snake's main canon adventures in the actual series. So you'll find annotations and links in the description to various parts of our normal Metal Gear Solid The Complete Story series. So this video will explain a little bit more about the character and then go into the non-canon timeline for the Metal Gear Solid universe in honor of Ground Zeroes. So here is the full Solid Snake complete story. Fun facts, canon adventures, and non-canon weird adventures. Everything is verified on the Metal Gear Solid wiki, us playing the games and having far too much time on our hands. Snake fun facts. Solid Snake is one of the most recognizable characters in gaming history. He is one of the few characters who actually aged across video games. He has been noted to be full of deep human emotion that other characters only dream of coming close to. He is also one of the few characters that can pull off a mullet and a pedo stash. Solid Snake also appeared in countless games outside of the series, including skateboarding and evolution skateboarding. He was a vendor in Bokdai 2, a fun little Game Boy Advance game that used the real sunlight to power the game. And he also appears in a crossover between Ape Escape and Metal Gear Solid. He also appears in two fighting games, Dream Mix TV World Fights, and everyone's favorite, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Oh, and he was also on New International Track and Field. And lastly, he appeared in the Japanese version of Scribble Knots. I'm sure there are more titles under his belt, but that's about all I could find for myself. Solid Snake in the main Metal Gear Solid canon begins back in 1972, when he was born. His life began as one of two clones, one of them containing Big Boss's dominant genes, and the other containing the recessive genes. While he was given the name David, he would later be given the name Solid Snake, while his brother was given the name Liquid Snake. He lived a rather uneventful life until he's made his way into the military. It was here that he was brought into the Green Berets as a teenager and took part in a mission to infiltrate Western Iraq in 1991. Shortly following this, he would join Big Boss's Special Forces Unit, Foxhound, which is when he got his codename Solid Snake. Here he would train in high altitude skydiving, linguistics, combat driving, and free climbing. He was also trained by Big Boss and CQC and received his survival training from Master Miller. It was worthwhile to note that at this point, Solid Snake did not know that Big Boss was his real father. His first mission came in 1995, and it was the notorious Outer Heaven mission. Snake wasn't the first to be sent in though. You know, Gray Fox was, and he failed his mission. Snake then goes in to fix the situation and discovers that Big Boss is actually behind everything in his private war against Major Zero. He then defeats Metal Gear and defeats Big Boss. And this is where things begin to diverge into a non-canon adventure. The unofficial sequel is Snake's Revenge for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Where did this unofficial sequel come from? Well, originally, Hideo Kojima decided not to create a sequel to Metal Gear. But due to the success of the game in the West, Konami commissioned a sequel to the game that was going to be made entirely for the Western market. In Snake's Revenge, they reinvented Solid Snake's appearance. He was made to appear more like Arnold Schwarzenegger, and they took away his cigarettes. He was promoted to lieutenant after the events of Metal Gear, and called back into action to stop the mass production of Metal Gears. He went ahead and defeated the Metal Gears, and defeated Big Boss officially in this timeline. The UN announced the World Peace Day, and everything moved forward. Hideo Kojima was asked to make a true sequel because of this game, and because of that, the canon sequel, Metal Gear 2, was made for the MSX. In the canon story, Solid Snake was sent in to prevent the Zanzibar land situation and officially kill Big Boss and Gray Fox. To understand how he went from working with them to killing them, make sure you click the annotation or go to the link down below for the proper Metal Gear Solid video. Now, after that, there are three adventures that happen around the same time, but only one of them follows canon. The canon adventure is the one I'm sure every Metal Gear Solid fan has played, and it's the actual Metal Gear Solid game. Once again, click the annotations or the link in the description down below to go to the proper video. But moving on, the next off-canon adventure was Metal Gear Ghost Babel. It was Konami's answer to making a Game Boy Advance adaptation of Metal Gear Solid. The story for this game is very loosely based on the original Metal Gear Solid storyline. In this storyline, a new Metal Gear prototype has been collected by a separatist guerrilla group in Central Africa. Solid Snake has been brought out of retirement in order to stop this Metal Gear and manages to uncover a secret US conspiracy. This title was actually ranked as the 11th best Game Boy Advance game ever by Nintendo Power. The next adventure that doesn't follow the actual canon is an interesting one, because it's a direct sequel to Metal Gear Solid. It follows the events following Shadow Moses, and in this adventure, Foxhound has it disbanded. 
Snake is sent into the Basra Republic to meet up with Meryl after she and her UN peace negotiators crash land there. After rescuing her, he goes off to help Mei Ling infiltrate the neo-communist island to acquire evidence of a chemical plant that is secretly being built there. One of the most notable portions of that adventure is the fact that he argued with Mei Ling, wondering if killing child soldiers was any different from killing regular soldiers. Snake said that he felt that killing them was the same thing, but Mei Ling disagreed. After revealing the chemical plant to the world, he would then go on another mission to rescue Roy Campbell, who has been captured by the enemy. All of these sound like they would have made some great interesting games or even maybe some DLC to the original Metal Gear Solid to continue the plot, or they could have even been worked into the current canon if Hideo Kojima wanted them to. But sadly, they are all audio dramas that were released in Japan to continue the story, so we'll never see them here on the US shores. Next up in our unofficial timeline is the Metal Gear Solid mobile game. Set after the events of Metal Gear Solid, Snake and Otagon's organization receives intelligence from a woman named Victoria Reed that a Metal Gear Rex model has been built by the company she is working for. After sneaking in, Snake quickly realizes that this whole thing is a ruse, and he's been actually talking to an AI woman named Victoria. She's not a real person. And to top all of that off, he's actually been talking to an AI version of Otagon who's been helping him. Eventually, it turns out that the entire thing is actually a VR mission, and in order to get out of it safely, Snake needs to complete it to get out of the simulation. Once he breaks free, he overhears two voices talking about how Snake didn't give them the data that they needed, and they were going to erase his memories of this entire event. Now, for the canon timeline, he proceeded to fight in Metal Gear Solid 2 next, in which he vanishes after the destruction of the oil tanker. And after that, we go to Metal Gear Solid 4, in which he's now Old Snake, and the main timeline wraps up. For both of those videos, make sure you click the annotation or go down to the description down below. But in our unofficial timeline, we actually move to 2016 and the Metal Gear Acid video games. These are two rather complex titles, so we're going to briefly graze over them, but if you would like more, just go ahead and ask and we can make videos about the Metal Gear Acid series. But in these titles, we're going to ignore the old snake idea, and we're going to bring back a younger snake. These games are a card battle system, and they're actually not too bad. In Metal Gear Acid 1, a jumbo jet carrying a senator is hijacked by some terrorists, and they demand Phalampagoras in return. Not knowing what it is, and the South African company who controls it not wanting to talk to the US, they send in Solid Snake to figure out what's going on. Phalampagoras turns out to be a nuclear-armed Metal Gear, and gets itself stomped by Snake. In Metal Gear Acid 2, we find out that Snake from the first game actually died in the end of the previous game. Though it's not explained how, considering at the end of Metal Gear Acid 1, it appeared that Snake got away and lived a happy life. You star as a new clone of Solid Snake, and the adventure has you discovering your past, how you were trained and how you fought in a civil war in the Serena Republic and lost your memory there. The adventure ends with Snake defeating the new Metal Gear, breaking every bone in his body, and receiving $15 million to go live his own life with. So that wraps up the unofficial timeline that we were able to track down. Following the Metal Gear Acid titles, it seemed like Hideo Kojima wanted to keep things on track and kept most titles in-house and in the canon, outside of the whole issue we have with Portable Ops. A lot of these titles and games have a much deeper plot than we covered, especially the Acid titles, but due to the time constraints of the video, we couldn't fit it all into here. If you'd like to hear more about these titles, like I said earlier, just ask in the comments down below and we can give you full videos of things such as the Acid storyline. So to end this title, here's the full list of video games that Solid Snake is playable in. We're only going to count the Metal Gear games and no cameo games such as Smash Brothers. Metal Gear, Snake's Revenge, Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid VR Missions, Metal Gear Ghost Babble, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 2, Substance, Snake's Tales, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake vs. Monkey, Metal Gear Solid 3, Substance, Snake vs. Monkey, Metal Gear Acid, Metal Gear Acid 2, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops Plus, Metal Gear Solid Mobile, Metal Gear Solid 4, Metal Gear Solid Social Ops, and finally, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes as Classic Snake in the Deja Vu mission, which led us to making this entire video. I hope you learned more about our hero Solid Snake, and here's to hoping for another adventure with him one day.